Hi everybody, it's Jilly, Jilly B living her life her way and um, I'm part of a zine group and this August is um, a ocean or mountain, that's the theme. So I'm going to do ocean. Now, if you've never made a zine before, I'm going to show you badly. Um, so you need a piece of A4 paper, normal paper for the printer and then you need some extra papers. I'll put them to the side and I'll show you what that's all about in a minute. So you get your piece of paper, I've got two because I might go wrong and what you do is you fold. So you fold corner. Now I'm not brilliant at this, I'm no professional zine maker. So you fold it like this and you open it and you fold it in half. Just make sure your corners match up. That one's okay. Mm, come on. So yeah, they've both got to be corner to corner. It doesn't matter if they're not slightly out of sync. I don't think anybody's been sued yet because they haven't made a perfect zine. Then fold it into the middle line here. It. Sorry for the gap there. Alexa, talk to me. Alexa, stop. Stop, please. Thank you. I don't know why she came on. I must have said something to prick her ears. Probably the sue me bit. So I'll probably get like adverts on Facebook now for. <laughs> lawyers or something okay so we've done that okay it's all folded into eight segments so now you fold it in half this way now do you see this line here you may want to get a pencil and just draw along it i'm just going to wing it so i've got some very snazzy um scissors here is it just me or do your scissors go missing i had a lovely pair with a red handle i got them from Denelm. set of three all gone so I forgot I had these, I found them in my sticker box, which I have um, just um, sorted out. Oops, see, have I snipped that? Nearly, oops, never mind. So now you should have a hole in the middle like that, right? So the hole in the middle is there for a reason. So you fold it back long ways, so you've cut the middle. Hello. Then you fold it again over and then you go like this, okay? And you fold, so this, push it together and then you put these corner to corner. Like I said, don't expect to be perfect because nobody is, but try and get it as best that you can. I think that's the best I'm gonna do. Right, so now you've folded it in half. There's the middle bit, but you're all in half. And then what you do is you fold it again. Right, so there we go. So you want, this is the bottom half with um, these bits here, the corner pieces. That wants to be at the bottom. Now, that feels a bit rubbish. So let me find a ruler. And we're just gonna score the edges. I do have a scoring tool somewhere, but I'm not looking for it because I can't be bothered. So, so now we've got a little book. It's not perfect, look. It's not perfect. Uh, I've got it the right side up. Yes. So these bits like that need to be at the bottom, but it doesn't matter because my last one I made, I made it wrong. So what we're gonna do is gonna decorate it and it's gonna turn into like a zine, which is a mini magazine, basically. So you've got your front page, this page, this page, the middle, this and the back. And it's got, mine's going to be an ocean theme. Now today, I was sorting out my crafting stack of stuff that I've got. And I wanted some papers for a backdrop. <laughs> and I found this one. Is it me or does that look like the, the sand? I feel it looks a bit like sand, so I'm going to use that one. 
I saw this funny one. It's got like a lady swimming in the sea, looking very happy. Is she happy? I'm not sure. And then some anchors and love hearts. Okay, so there's some papers I'm going to use. And we'll get to that in a minute. Because with these papers, so these are the papers I've got. Okay. Um, I have some bits and bobs. Now, I found this. It's like a sunset. And I thought that would be quite nice as the first page. And what I did, I found lots of different stickers. Um, there's lots of themes. There's some in here. These are gift tags, but if I just flip through, I saw some that I thought would be quite cool. Well, I probably can't find them now. Um, there. Summertime. I might use that one, so I'm going to pull that one out. And I don't think there's any others I liked. Well, I do like them, but not for this project. Mm, no. Right. So, then I found some stickers with um, drinks and stuff on, you know, like you'd have at the seaside. You'd maybe have a banana, um, things like that, a drink. Then I found some holiday stickers. So I thought maybe, maybe I might use a holiday sticker. Some hippie vibe ones. But they reminded me of the beach. The sunshine there, look. Then some different animals. So I've got some octopuses and fish. More fish and octopus themes. A boat. More boats. A whale. A torch. A seagull with a hat on, more fish, love hearts, some words, maybe I'll use words I don't know. Then I thought this, um, the sunshine stuck to it, look, um, I might use that on there. Um, because of the colours, the blue and the yellows, I thought oh, that might make a nice, um, a nice theme, nice and bright ocean colour. These I got from the range not so long ago, so I, I think I'll be using those. More sea themed holiday stickers, some more beach stickers, some fun lollipops. We all have a lollipop or something at the seaside. Um, these are quite nice, aren't they? There was a was there, oh, there, a will. I'm not sure if I'll use these. So I've, I've pulled a few things out. There's some foodie bits in there. I thought, well, maybe I'll use a foodie bit because we have a picnic on the beach. Then I've got these stickers. So this is it. My theme is sea, ocean, seaside. And there's quite a few bits and pieces in there that I couldn't use. Uh, in that one and in this one. Uh, so it's a nice one and then a pink one with different themes in uh, trying to find one sea themed but oh is that suntan lotion no <laughs> uh, yeah so you get the gist you just get what you want go with it so when you're doing them, don't go too close to the edge. When you've made one, you unfold it and then you photocopy it. So that if you've got more people to send them to, you can do that. So I think for the first page, I think that would look perfect. Uh, have a look. Could I? Would that look okay? Maybe not. Maybe a bit too much. Let's have a look. Let's just move some stuff. I'm crowded. Where were those beach themed ones? Or maybe one of these. So you just play about until you get what you want, what you like. So, pull this out. Rubbish. So, 
I think I will put that there for the first one and then I might put this one on top. Oh, will it fit? I don't think it's going to fit. If I... No, that won't fit. So I'm going to have to go with this one. And I think I'm just going to... Now this is what I do, I mess about and I look to see what I like. I quite like something like that, but I need to put something else there. So I've got these little stickers here and I've got some other ones. Where did I put them? Now they sort of go well with that. So let's get the glue stick out. And glue stick and let's go crazy with the glue stick um i'm feeling a lot better today guys you can probably tell by my voice i'm almost got my voice back is that it that way or that way no it's definitely that way isn't it so we're going to put this here and i was going to put it in the side but i think i'll put it more towards the middle and then with these stickers, if I can get them to unpeel, have I gone the right way? Is it that way or this way? Oh no, where's it gone? Oh, it's on my nail. Huh. I'm just going to pop them in the corners. Now, when you're doing a zine, it's just let, let what you feel you like the best. Just do it. And it's always good if you've got a theme, like garden, seaside the movies uh mountains right so this is going to be the start here uh where's that summer sticker now I'm, i am going to put that there and i think i'm just going to lay it across the top like this or should i put it that way gosh decisions um let's have a look or anything that's if you can hear my cat in the background i apologize she's just been a bit funny today um let's have a look do you get like this you think you're going to put some on and you think yeah no i'm going to use it where's it gone that's what i liked that's what i'm having so glue it on I think I might just put it like that. I'm just going to do it. I'm, I'm showing you this so just as an example. Quite like that. Now, could we put a starfish in the corner? I think we could. Right, so there is my first page done. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to use some of this paper on this one. I think I will need some of this. So I'm not going to put a lot on, I'm just going to like whip some like this. Okay, rip your rip. And I'm just going to put that there. And then I will layer it up with some different, um, different stickers. Oops. So let's get this in place. Oops. So I've left the corner bit because it'll help me line it up a bit here. I haven't gotten right to the corner because I have to unfold this and it just makes life a bit difficult. So there it is. Now, what am I going to stick there? I quite like this boat, so I'm going to stick oh, this boat on here. Where shall I put it? Uh, I'm going to pop it there. 
Now that raises up a bit, but it'll be okay. And I need to put something in the bottom. Um, here's another one of those. Here. Pop it there. I like these. I got them off um, the internet. I can't remember where I bought them, but you know. And another one. Quite tricky to peel off. Stick it there. So I've done that, but it looks a bit boring, doesn't it? So I need to find something to go on the bottom. Hmm. Something of the same colour thing. Uh, what have we got? <laughs> I quite like the uh, the bird saw. So, I'm going to put the crab here. I'm just going to lay it over. And then I'm going to put the cheeky seagull at the bottom. There we are. And a star there. I mean, you could write loads of stuff, but I'm not going to. Uh, so now we're onto this page. What are we going to do here? So we've got, um, so we've used a bit of this paper. So, I think I will use this paper next, and I think I'll just rip it from the top. Now, I can't even remember where I bought this. I think it was given to me, actually. So, I'm going to put that along here. I just need to snip a bit off. And I think I'll make this an under the sea theme. So I'll have her there and I'll put loads of sea creatures underneath. What do you reckon? So if anybody wants to make a zine, I hope this is, I hope you're getting the gist of what I'm trying to do. So. Oh, dropped it. Let's put them there. I think I've just knocked you, sorry, with my big head. So I've got this lady swimming in a rather um, cute bathing costume. And then, let me find the words. I've got some word notepad somewhere. I'm going to try and find under the sea in these. And it's probably going to be this one. So I'll be back in a moment. Right, I had it under and had the... I didn't have a C, so I've had to just write it on. But that's okay. It's about being creative. So let's find some under the sea creatures. So I've got these ones, these ones. Um, I've got these. Um, right, so under the sea. What about a nice stingray? I think that would look lovely just there. This is it with the sea, you just never know what's underneath as you're taking a dip. Don't let me put you off swimming. <laughs> so there's some bubbles. shall we have um octopus oh no the yellow fish i quite like that i'm trying to keep with the blue theme for this one i think i'll go for that one oh there we go 
else can we put on? Mm, quite like this little fish here. There we are. We just need some more bubbles, I think. It's looking a bit. Burn that corner. Right. There we go. So the first page is this summertime because I always think of the beach for summertime although I've got any time of the year I'm very lucky to live near the coast then we've got a ferry some animals sea animals creatures and then we've got under the sea and then this one I've got this paper and I think I typed some words out before Sun castles, beaches, tours in the sand, water lapping, bucket and spade, ice cream, birds, boats, paddling in the sea, piers, fishing and picnics. So I'm going to use a couple of those that I've printed off. So I'm going to use quite a lot of this paper. something blue hmm blue yeah I've got these ideas and then I go off them so sorry about that my uh, son came in and said do you want some waffles from the dessert place I went yeah Right, so I wanted something blue to go under here. So I'm going to use this. I only need a little bit. So, isn't that lovely? I think I might have uh, not going to see much blue, are we? Right, I might have to improvise. Let me just snip it off. Sorry, my dog's getting fed, so you can probably hear her. What do you think of that then? So I'm going to snip a bit of this off at the bottom. Put that there. Right, so I'm going to put that there, like that. Just trust me on the process. <laughs> so. So in my mind, we have beach and we have some water. And what do we find on the beach? Let's find some words to write, to stick on. That's water lapping. like that one so let's just I haven't cut it properly I'll do that when I've decided if I'm going to use it toes in the sand So there is just a few words that I can use. So we've got water lapping, ice cream, beaches, which I think I'm going to just pop there. I'll put water lapping there, toes in the sand here, and ice cream there. So let me tidy up these.
on this one, tidy up. Now what I did, I just went on the computer and the, oh, one day last week and I printed off words I thought about to do with the sea and beaches. And these are the words that came straight to mind. So I printed, typed some up and printed them off. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh my tummy. So here we go. So this is what I've got. So I'm going to put um, beaches on first. There's no wrong or right way of how you design your um, zine. Some people make like little comic strips and they draw little characters and stuff, which is really cool. So I'm going to put mm, beaches just there. And then toes in the sand. I'm just going to rub it along this Pritt stick. This Pritt stick's gone a bit gloopy, which is silly considering it's glue. So, toes in the sand. Put that there. I'm dotting them about a bit because I've got some stickers that will match this. Ice cream. This needs a bit of a trim. That's it. Water lapping there. Okay. So that is what I think about when I go to the the sea. Okay. Hope you can see this all right. Moving my lamp a bit. So, I will have some stickers to match. Um, what I'm saying. Now, I really like this um, starfish and I'm determined to use it. And I'm just wondering if it will just stick onto here. That might be perfect. Because that sandy colour is a bit boring to me. Right then, let's find some ice creams. I've got an ice, no it's not an ice cream, it's an ice lolly. Mm. I've got an ice cream in there, that's perfect. I'm not sure where I bought these from. Tushy. I think I got those off the internet. I think I just bought them, somebody was selling a bundle. So there we have an ice cream. I'll put the ice cream there. Water lapping. Toes in the sand. What else have I got? I can use on there. Um, can't see anything. Uh, no. Where did I put those peace stickers? Because they had some. Quite like that. I was wondering if I put it in a spade, but I don't think I put one. This one had mm. I saw something on there before that I really liked. I quite like the sun sticker. I'll put that one there. I can't get it to peel off. I don't like it. Put that. <laughs> I think I'm just going to leave it like that because I think that's quite pretty. Now the next one. Um, have I used all these papers yet? I think I have, haven't I? So this one. I think I'll use the ribbons that I had. Oh, where did I put them? Lots of stickers, haven't I? Got a sticker problem. There we are. So, I think what I'll do with this one is find an ocean themed sticker in here. Um, something like that. And border some yellow, some blue. There. 
on the on the edges of this piece. So this is ribbon. Let me just pull it out. These cost me 19 pence in the range. So it's a ribbon, but it's a sticky ribbon. So what I can do is just put a layer of ribbon. Let me just pull it off. See, it's sticky. On here. Now, I've not used this before, so I don't know how it's going to work. But let's try. For 19p, it's worth a go. So, I don't want it all peeling off. You can't see what I'm doing, can you? So let's just snip, snippy snip that off. Oh, it's hard to snip. Right, just need to tidy that up a bit. I'm not bothered if it's not perfect. So, I've gone with that, and then I think I'm going to use another one. Um, which one? I quite like. I'm going to try this one. Ooh. really thick but it's really nice as well okay it's starting to fray I think I'll have to put a sticker up there right so let's see how far we're getting along. Summertime, the ocean, under the sea, on the beach. And this one, I'm thinking of like a picnic theme. Oh my tummy, I'm ever so sorry. Right, see that's nice. This one. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Uh, mm, I don't know. I think pink might go well with these colours. Let's have a look. Let's see. What I'm looking for is something like, you know, you have a picnic sometimes on the beach. So that's what I'm looking for. Something foody. Oh, picnicky. Oh, that's nice. I think it might be that one. Let's pull that to the side. Mm. I'm going to use this one and I think I'm just going to pop it there because we all like to read on the beach don't we read a nice book holiday mode and I quite like the purples and the blues together right there we go hey, that's not peeled properly that's the thing with this washi sticker stuff. I really like it, but sometimes it doesn't like to pay up all. Right, I'm going to look in my words and see if I can find something that will go nicely. Okay, I had a look in my book. This one, um, Small Talk. And I found this and it says, best day ever. So I'm going to pop that. I think I'm going to just pop it here. And then I'm going to put something here. So, I have some little cake stickers here, 
and I'm thinking what's better than a book on the beach with something to eat so let's see what we have uh, oh that looks good oh, that looks nice so let me see what I like oh gosh that looks lovely and the colours go so well right so I'm going to pop that there so I'm sorry if you can hear my cat in the background she's just had a tea and um, she knows in the kitchen there is some chicken cooling on the worktop and she wants to go into the kitchen and eat it she isn't so so there we go the blue theme for the sea the book I don't know if that, that reminds me of a starfish it probably isn't and a bit of cake so now we're on to the last two and I really 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 want to use these stickers where are they these ones where are they? I've opened a pocket. Oh, there they are. I want to use these ones, but that background's a bit boring, so we need to jazz it up a bit. Oh, and at the beginning, when I was, I just paused while my son came into the room, I stuck just a couple of extra stickers on the front just to brighten it up. So these are the two last ones. So, what can we do with this one? What do you think? I do have some nice washi tapes like this. Um, this fox is. Oh, this Starry Night by Van Gogh. I think I'm going to use these two together. So, and I'm going to be really brave and just go for it right across the top. Honestly, making a zine really makes you, gives you the freedom to choose um, things and put it together really nice. Let's put that at the bottom. Now, I've never gone right across a zine page before, so I might have made a massive mistake because it has to fold. But we'll see. Right, so that's that side thinking if I've got some mermaid stickers or something maybe not I could just use some sea creatures but I'm really wanting to use these and because they're quite bland it's quite nice having the backdrop of this washi tape now I'm going to go this way the opposite direction to the top one oh no it's ripped Oh no! Don't you just hate it when that happens? This wasn't cheap either, this washi tape. Can I get it to. Right, just snip it off. Okay, okay let's get a bit of. Uh, I don't think I want to be able to save it. Mm. That'll have to do. I'll just lap that bit over with a bit of a sticker. Snippy snip from that side. Which one was that one? This one. Now don't do it again. Be nice. Ah. That's a good thing about washi, isn't it? You can just pull it off. Now the people in my zine group, I know one of them watches. So please act surprised when you get it in the post. <laughs> uh, right, that'll be fine. That'll do it. Bit wrinkly. That's it. So I'm sure you're getting the idea now of uh, 
magazines. This one, I think I'm just going to go crazy with these stickers. I do like this one. Just going to put it there. I love this one. So yeah, I'm just going to just go for it really. Just stick them everywhere. I'm just going to go for it like that. I'm not going to be too bothered. can we have on here some of these little blue circles let's get these blue circles dotted about I like these blue circles don't know where they're from I really like them so yeah, so I'm just going to use these. I really like the colours and the very ocean. The ocean theme is there, isn't it? So I'm just going to leave it like this. These remind me of bubbles. So that's that one. So very simple. I need something to go there. That's not quite right. Let's have a look. What about that one? Just there. Right, so there's plenty on that one. And now it's the last page. And I think I'll just gonna use a one of these in the corner. There we go. And I need something to go here. Uh, what else have I got? There's stuff everywhere. Uh, see, these are those. The thing is, I've got a photocopy it, so I've got to be careful how bumpy it is because I don't know if it'll come out as well as I want it to. Right, what have we got on here? What have we got? Yeah, sorry, all you can hear is my tummy. And the cat. Shh. So, let's stick a few things on here. I quite like that one. What do you think of that one? Yeah. Put that one there. Oh, be quiet. Every time. Every time. Okay, right. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Come on, here. Honestly, never in my life have I been interrupted so many times making something <laughs> and I'm going to put a whale underneath I love whales so let's put the whale like this and let's put a little bubble another two, another bubble there we go so that is my beach themed zine now when you do a zine you can you can write and give information if you want to um so do you remember how it started it was just this piece of paper and we have created something out of a piece of paper some stickers and card so there's the first one then you turn the page and we've got anchors and the wheel 
the stern, is it? I don't know. Little sea animals and creatures under the sea theme there. The lady swimming. She has no idea what's underneath her. Should have put jaws up there. Duh, duh. Um, beach theme. Best day ever. Because it's so lovely to relax, isn't it? On the beach. And under the water theme. And the back. So what you do is when you've done one, you just write your name somewhere. So I'm going to write mine here. And then you put August 22. So there we go, guys. That's how you make a zine. And when you, if you're going to send them out to plenty of people, what you do is you unfold it like that. And then you um, photocopy it. And then you do the, all the refolding and the snipping of the card. And there you go. So guys, I'm sorry about the millions of interruptions, but that's life. I don't live on my own, so uh, I live with my family. So people want to talk to me, people need me, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? So I'm just going to do one last thing on here. Um, I want to put a little love hat here and there. So I'll put my little love hat there. And another one here. Let's have a look. Just to overlap slightly. And this definitely could do with a love heart, couldn't it? Blue one, I think, on this side. And a green one over here. And there we go. There's somebody at the door. I don't know what's going on today. Anyway, so that is the scene. That's me all finished with it. I hope that helps anybody who wants to make a zine. It is easy once you get the folding bit right. And then whatever stashes you've got, you just go for it. And this is what I've done. So guys, I hope that's helped anybody who's thinking about making a zine. It was relatively easy apart from all the interruptions I'm never so sorry about that but it's just one of those days today and now I'm going to eat something my son's bought me because he knows I'm not being very well I'll show you I've never had one before not from here from this takeaway so I've got some ice cream oh it's a waffle with butterscotch syrup and strawberries. I haven't been eating hardly anything all week because I've been that poorly. So if I don't eat that, I'll be surprised. I probably can't eat all of it, but I'll give it a good go. So guys, that's this week's um, video. Um, a bit different this week, but I just wanted to show people how to make a zine, how easy it is. Um, once you've got your folding right, then you just go with whatever theme it is you've got. Could be birthdays, Christmas, shopping, animals, the forest, mountains, the sea, anything, anything, postcards, stamps, absolutely anything. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave me a thumbs up and think about subscribing if you would uh, like to see any more content that I do, including post crossing, stickers, washi tape, all sorts of things like that, and stationary hauls. So guys, that's my zing. I hope you enjoyed it. Do stay safe, well and happy. Until the next video, take care now. Bye bye.